lads what is going on gonfia and today we have got another squad i've got another squad builder for you lot um i understand my channel is getting very common for squad builders that is because like i've said in other commentaries i'm actually trying to devote my channel towards just squad builders sort of style obviously not just squad builders but mainly squad builders so if you're looking for a team to build if you're looking for a unique hybrid you know exactly where to come first i'll always have different sorts of hybrids different styles silver gold players bronze players everything else so that is it where I'm trying to head, take my channel, but obviously there'll be other stuff as well on my channel, like player reviews, save us splash the cash, and still uh, pack up the videos. But anyway, lads, I've been having major problems with my laptop, a little story to tell you. The whole time my laptop has been messing up, it's been so demotivating for me, I haven't wanted to make videos. And the, own, the whole problem was, my laptop power plan was unbalanced instead of high performance. And that has caused me so much trouble for, for the... For a couple of months now it has been ridiculous and i finally found out what it was so i'm in a much better mood to start this commentary off so lads we're going to start off this epic hybrid this in some opinion people's opinions is a dream team it is a beast team in goal first off we have got inform romando this guy is an absolute tank i mean i i picked him up i thought you know what he's, he's silver silver keepers are always always seem to be dodgy for me and he's five foot ten he's only a small guy he's gonna be absolute dreadful no, this guy was a beast. I absolutely loved him. He was great. He was making reflex saves. He was making just crazy, amazing saves that you wouldn't expect a silver sort of average keeper to make. But he is in form, so what do you expect? And I think 59k fitted the price tag for him. He was a great little player. Set it back then. To start us off, we have got win. All this guy does is win, win, win. He's an absolute beast. Uh, 93 pace, everything else seems to just fall in, pay, in fall into place after that 93 pace. I mean, this guy could probably beat Usain Bolt in a race. He is that fast. I'm not even joking. He's that fast, man. He bombs up and down the pitch. You don't even see him. He's just, like, ridiculously quick. And because he's got 93 pace, every other stat just seems to just fall into place. I mean, 93 pace, who needs defending when you can just run at him, basically? I mean, he's got the 73 head in as well, so he can head. And he's, he's relatively strong, so he does the job for me. And he just feel he felt so overpowered, I'm not going to lie. Loved using him. Next to them, we have got Opara. Man, I've never used this little partnership before. I mean, it was ridiculous. It just felt so OP, man. I mean, he's a bronze guy with 63 defending, but he just feels so beast. And I think anybody who's tried him out before will tell you this guy just seems so sick. Ike Opara, 81 pace is best. That is 75 head, and he's 6 foot 2 as well. So he does win a relative amount of headers. But the pace is the main thing for these two defenders. And because they're so quick, they just feel so overpowered. One's 22k. Win is actually 23k. And I think it's definitely worth it. It's a great little partnership. Right back then, we have got to start us off. Well, not to start us off, but right back anyway, lads. We have got... Uh, it's going to be Kyle Walker. I mean, you lot already know. Watch my videos. I hate an attacking right back. I despise attacking right backs. But this guy did it for me. I don't know how, man. He, he just seemed weird, different. He's a completely different star player to, like, Danny Alves, um, other Jordi Alba, other attacking. He seemed to be stronger. He, he could head of the ball. Uh, he had ridiculous good shot power. Um, 91 pace is just stupid. And he had 76 dribbling, of course. Freestyle skill moves, too. He just seemed like an absolute beast. And I really enjoyed using him. He, he would definitely be one of my... More higher priority choices for a right back in the Premier League. But left back then, lads, we have got probably one of my favourite players in this team. It is going to be Marcio Azevedo. Had him about three or four times before. I just I just can't get enough of this guy. He is such a beast. He's so fun to play with. He's five-star skills, of course. I mean, if you're looking for a fun player, you've come to the right guy, man. He he is just tons of fun. You can run out of from defence, pulling off all sorts of Ronaldo chops. Um, just all sorts of crazy things, obviously, because he's five-star skills, rainbow flicks. I just have fun with this guy. I torment my opponents, and I just have a laugh, and that is why it's fun. I, score, I hit an absolute peach from the halfway line. It hit the crossbar. If that would have gone in, lads, it would have been goal of the season. Trust me, it was such a beast shot. But this guy, like I said, if you're looking for a fun left-back, and he can actually defend as well, this is your guy. He's a beast. Set the defensive midfield to start us off then in midfield, lads. We have got, it is going to be Ramirez. Did not like this guy. He was just he's so disappointing on FIFA 13, unfortunately. FIFA 12, he was a beast. His informed cards were beasts. This game, he just disappointing. Set in defensive midfield for me, he was weak. He was giving away possession. He didn't win any headers. 
He just didn't fit in the centre defence midfield. I've tried him in centre mid as well. I didn't seem to like him. I just don't get on with Ramirez. I just, in my opinion, he just doesn't click. He doesn't do the things it looks like he can do. His card stats look so promising, but on the pitch, he was just a flop. But that is my opinion, lads. Obviously, some people may have a different opinion, but for me, he's not. He's not very recommended. I just did not get along with him. Next, and then we have got someone who is highly recommended. It is going to be Craig Gardner. Completely outshone Ramirez in centre defensive mid. He was doing all the work for me. He was getting stuck in. He's got strength. He's got an 80 shot as well. So you know, man, you can ping him. Uh, 73 pace, yes, but he's got he's strong and powerful going forward. So that's a good thing. And also, you don't really need your centre defensive midfielders to be too quick. Uh, he's got 74 pass. And he just seemed like an overpowered, great silver player. And I mean, I can see where the 53k price tag comes from. Obviously, he is one of the better silver players, but he's also such a beast, lads. I highly recommend him. Such a good player. Really enjoyed using him. Uh, center attack and midfield to start off the attack. Now, we have got Jermaine Beckford. I mean, I think his favorite position is probably striker or center forward. But if you look straight away, lads, you can see that big, sexy, five-star weak foot. That is one of the best things to have on a player. It is so good. It makes everything feel amazing. Passing. They always seem to go to the right player. I know it says he got 53 passing, but it just seems overpowered. Shots seem to be so much better on any foot. I don't know what it is about 5-star weak foot players, but it's like 5-star skill players. Their dribbling seems better. 5-star shot player, weak foot players, their shot seems better. It's weird. But Jermaine Beckford was a great player for me. Probably would obviously be a lot better center forward or striker, but he works center attack in midfield. He did work, and he's got the 89 pace as well to back him up. For 5k, he's, dead. he's a bag, and he's a brilliant little player. Then we have got, on the other side, Wallison. And as you can see here, this is probably one of the most deadliest left-sided attacks you're going to see. Marcio Azevedo at the bottom. Wallison at the top. I mean, five-star skills galore. Wallison can do pretty much anything. He is a tank. He, he can play in any position you want. I mean, he shone for me, even playing center attack in mid. He was doing all sorts of skills. I mean, he was scoring me goals. Obviously, lads, like I said, it says I played free, scored none. Obviously, that's because I play a lot of offline games. I have a lot more fun. But... I mean, five-star skills, three-star weak foot. He seems like he can do anything. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this guy. Some say he's not that good. He, he can't seem to finish, not in the right positions. That's bullshit. In my opinion, I think he is amazing. He was just perfect. Loved him and could seem to provide for a lot of goals as well. Get a lot of assists. So what more can you ask for when he's playing center attack in mid? Center forward then, we have got... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it now. He is probably my favorite player in this team. One of the best silver players on the game, along with a few others in this team, but he's definitely one of them. FIFA 12, he was a beast. FIFA 15, he's even better. I mean, 88 pace, 74 dribbling, a 70 shot, a 78 head, so he obviously wins a lot of headers. He's super, super strong, and he just seems to be the perfect hold-up centre-forward player. I highly recommend this team, this guy, in any gold team or silver team for centre-forward position. He is a beast. He can do anything for you. He, he just seemed amazing, and he's obviously got the 88 pace as well, so just, that just makes everything so much better. He's, a, he's quick, and he just seemed like the perfect centre-forward player. He's cropped up with quite a few goals for me as well, and just really enjoyed using him. But then, lads, to sum up the whole team, don't get your dislike buttons up yet, lads. Let me just have, have a quick word. This guy has got to be the number one silver player ever. He is just incredible. I think anyone who's tried at Bong Lahore will tell you his pace and his strength combined, 88 pace, no, 88 strength, sorry, and 93 pace with 74 dribbling on a silver player combined equals, I'm done, I quit. That's what it equals because he is a tank. He destroys any defense. You put David Luiz there, you put Sergio Ramos there, you put Thiago Silva there, they can't stop this guy. He's just too quick, too strong, and in-game, his finishing and his curve and stuff like that are like gold stats. He has like really, really high finishing for a silver player. His in-game stats are like gold card in-game stats. So this guy is just a beast. He, in my opinion, maybe 185k is slightly a bit high. But for the one of the best silver players on the game, you've got to pay these sort of prices, lads. But this team is, in some opinion, some people's opinion, some may call it a dream team because it's got everything. It's got the skills. It's got the bronze, silver, and gold players in it. It's got a few different nationalities. And I just, it's so fun to play with. I mean, any of you would have tons of fun playing with this team. I highly recommend it. But lads... Once again, like I said, if you've enjoyed this, please remember to leave it a thumbs up as it means a lot to me. And I'll try and bring you a few videos through the week, but I am going to be obviously playing the shit out of Black Ops 2. But um, lads, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll leave you with some goals, and I'll speak to you next time. Peace.